Hi guys, Aaron Templin here with Two Brothers Innovations. We're just pulling into the town of Walker here in Minnesota. Uh, we're gonna fish Legendary Leech Lake today. The fun part is we're taking you guys along to show you a little bit of kind of who we are as a company and what we do. Um, we're not just rod builders, we're not just marketeers. Um, we have an extreme passion for the outdoors and fishing. Um, I've got a special guest with me today. We picked him up. Everybody knows this guy. It's Paul Thorne. So the camera's gonna pan to him. Here we are. Hey guys, just uh, taking some time out of our busy lives to do what we love to do. We're gonna go down to Leech Lake here and do some fishing for walleyes today. Again, as Aaron was saying, our quality of our rods really starts with the passion that we have for fishing. We'd rather be fishing probably all the time if we could, but that's not possible. So we fish as often as we can and we translate that knowledge of fishing into the product that we have into the Elliott rods. And I think today is gonna be a cool day, man. We're gonna be out on the water, it's cloudy out. I think the bite is gonna be fairly decent. Uh, hopefully we'll put a bend in some of those Elliott rods and show you a little bit about what the, our equipment does. So, hey, stay tuned and let's get some fish. Leech Lake, here we go. Just put the boat in. We're gonna get boogieing out. We just uh, put it out onto the main lake, uh, launching out of Stony Point. So we're gonna hit a lot of main lake reefs and kind of push our way around, see uh, see what's shaking. There's a ton of traffic out here. I can't believe the amount of guys out fishing, and that's a good thing. I like seeing a lot of people out fishing. So it could get a little crowded in some spots, but we're gonna move our way through, run our regular program. I think Paul's. Uh, He's jacked up. He's, I'm ready. Let's he's, do it. he's ready to get going. So uh, here we go. Leech Lake, finally in the water. Let's get it. That's a big one. Keep lifting. Nice. I want you to hold it up for the my chesty. There you go. Perfect. Nice old wally. Toss it back. Keep lifting.
25. Just let me know when you're hit. Feels like a good one, huh? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oh, nice one. Big one. She's ours. Way to go, bud. Woohoo! Nice, nice built fish. Nice. Good job. Looks like a good one. It's a shaker. It's a good one. Lift straight up. Another nice one. That one. That's money. That's a big one. Okay, just be easy. That's a big one. What do you think of that one? This is a nice fish, dude. Here we go. Step that out of the deck, give it to you. Big eye. Start lifting. Oop, she's gonna fight you. She's gonna fight you. Oop, not ready. Go ahead, let her run back around. All right, here we go. There's a good fish, huh? That's a good one. Two. What, 25? Open I your bill. Wait, the bottom jaw. Yeah, that's, that's what we're looking for. It's another good one from you, Polly. It's another chunker. This guy out. There. Another decent one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, nice job, dude. Talk to me a little bit about what you got going on. I don't know what I got going on other than weight. I got I got a lot of weight here, buddy. <clears throat> this is uh this is a head shaker. It's a big fish though, yeah, well, whatever it is, if it's a walleye. Well, this is a pretty stiff rod too. This is not it's uh tell me about it's it. It's heavy. <laughs> oh man, dude. You better get ready for this. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's back there. It's a big guy. Big guy. We're, all, we're on wide open. There we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look, I pinned him right through the freaking top of the mouth there. Holy mackerel. That's a good fish. That's a good fish there. Holy mackerel. Woo. Give me a fist bump. Alrighty guys, kind of an update on what we've kind of figured out. So. I have spent zero time on Leech Lake this season. But in the past, we do have our, our rules and our principles of Leech Lake. One of the hindrances we had is it's flat calm. There's, there's no wind, and as Paul knows, 
No wind on Leech Lake. Oh man, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Well, the wind actually picked up here, so if you're seeing a little chop now, that wasn't the conditions when we were fishing. Right, and and no wind makes it extremely tough. So. What we've noticed is we've kind of started off on some traditional spots, some points, things like that, um, digging into that rock structure. And we did catch a couple nice fish off the rocks. Yeah, right away we did. Um, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. We wanted to fish the middle of the lake. There's so many boats. Uh, I'm telling you, some of these spots, there's got to be 50 boats on yeah, it. Yeah, that's not our style either. <laughs> no, we so, don't like that. so we branched off, went on our own, and kind of uh, found, some, found some unique things. We found a school that uh, was really potted up. Yep. I mean, they small. Were, they, yep, they were tight. And, and what we found in that school, and, and we've noticed it on our side imaging, and when Paul picked off a couple fish on some of that that we were targeting, and it, we thought, okay, we can work with this. So we got to work on it, picked off some of those fish, and then started just spinning. And that was the big thing that we learned is spin on that school. Don't don't just carry on down a shoreline. That doesn't do you any good here, um, especially after cold front, after cold front, after cold front. We're using live bait already um, to help out with that issue, but we kept spinning on that school. And what yeah. you'll notice, even on the graph, as I show you an image of the graph, is we did a lot of passes, but it was a fish every pass. Yep, yeah, fish or a lost fish, either way we had action. And what you're gonna also notice is Paul's jigging technique. I got my rear end kicked here today, and I don't feel one bit bad about saying it. I was doing more of a rip jig technique, and yes, I did land some fish, but Paul had it dialed, and it was all about that cadence. So go ahead and tell us about that well, cadence. Well, yeah, it's just a little bit of a, a, a twitchy uh, bump, you know. You twitch it, twitch it, twitch it, let it pause, let it sit for a second, twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. And that jig is down there with that shiner minnow, and it's just sitting there shaking. You know, and I think when the fish are, are a little bit negative or a little bit neutral anyway, that little bit of a shimmy to that jig and shiner dancing down there does the trick. So it seemed to work well today. I will say this much. We were a little bit kind of subdued, as you noticed on a lot of the footage and a lot of the fish being caught. Usually we're a little bit more energetic, a little bit more full of fun. But, you know, there were people around too. It wasn't crowded, <laughs> but there was about four or five boats around us and we couldn't get too crazy, so we kind of just played a low key. So if you're watching it and thinking, hey, they didn't have any fun, well, yeah, we did have fun. <laughs> we just had a real low key fun. <laughs> Try not to do too much hooting and hollering, otherwise we'd be pushing boats off the bow, but uh, what a blast. I ran the 610. Um, I had also a fast action rod that was uh, about seven foot. It was kind of a prototype. You might notice in the film, it's a little different than what we have because we built something up kind of quick. You know, to test it out, I actually kind of put a, a, more of a poodle style back rear handle on it. But anyway, it worked well. We caught a lot of fish. Rods performed just fantastic, as all Elliott rods do, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. So here we are. I'm actually going to take off. We're going to try out a couple pitching bites. So we're going to pull to some mid lake stuff, do a little pitching. If we get a fish, you get to watch it. If not, we're done. So uh, here we are. Aaron, Paul, yep. we're done. What a good day.